In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to add interest and excitement to even a short video by using a quad screen layout. This is where we take four videos and put them on the screen at the same time. What I have here is a group of clips I took of a workday where some of us went to a friend's house and on a hot June day we re-roofed their house. Now I could play them all sequentially like this. But you find that it's a bit boring even by the time they get through cutting this piece of plywood. So what I'd like to do is use a different kind of approach. I'll delete that track and we're going to make sure we have four tracks. Right now the default is two. So I'll right click anywhere on this left side in my timeline and I'll click add tracks and we're going to add two tracks below track two. That will give us a total of four. Now the other thing I want to do before I use a quad um, quad layout is I'm going to move my mouse to this little line between the, uh, the icons of the track and the track and drag right and expose something we normally don't see. This is the name of the track. And to keep this straight for me, I'm going to call these. The first one will be upper left. And then I'll go to track two. And I'll make that upper right. And number three, we're going to call the video uh, upper left. Uh, lower right and the bottom one we're going to do a, is lower left. This will help me keep straight the the uh, pictures, the videos I want to use in each of the tracks. So I have all of these and now I've taken these and I have also given them names. Lower left one, lower left three, lower right, upper left one, whatever. So this helps me a little bit. Now I'm going to start with my upper left track, upper left one, drag it here. And now what I need to do is I need to take my my preview window, right click on it and, and I have the TV safe zone set, but I now I have to set grid lines. I'm going to use a four by four grid line on top of this. So I have the safe zone, but I also have the four by four. Now the upper left, I will drag and reposition that. So it's on the upper left and I'll keep it as much as I can, uh, retaining the proportions in the safe zone. It's going to leak over a little bit, but uh, that won't matter too much. Then I'm going to go to track number two, which is my upper right. I've got UR here and we'll take that one. And uh, now that I have my safe zone on, I'll go, go ahead and resize that one. And we'll adjust this accordingly. It's a snap to there. I have my upper right. And now I'll take my lower right and I'll put it on the third track. And now I know where it belongs and how I want to adjust it. And here's my third one. Now the tricky one is going to be my lower left because I'm actually going to make that one change over time. So what I do is I'll take my lower left number one, put it on the lower left track. And what I want to do here is I'll start out just like the others and we'll resize accordingly. There we go. But what I want to do is maybe, oh, four or five seconds in, I'll put my scrubber here. I'm going to do something special with it. So let's go in about this far. And I'll, with that, the last track highlighted, do, do control T to split it. And we'll just delete the right part of it. Uh, get my garbage can here. And now I'm going to do my thanks number two, which is the person who uh, was one of the residents thanking the group for doing what they did. And that will be my lower left two. So that will supersede that. And then we'll drag this here. And uh, then I'm going to do my lower left three after they thank. We'll get back to another 
another clip and this will be number three over here and you can see the process is pretty simple well, I'm going to change it in a bit you'll see why and then I'll do the thanks from the other homeowner and that will be also lower left that's my number four here okay all right so now I have a video now what I want to do is make sure that the audio track is only for the lower left so all I have to do is take the checkbox off track three and uncheck the the audio it turns it off uh, track number two I'd already done that as I was experimenting before track number one will do the same so the only audio I will hear is track number four now I could play it just like it is and it would be a little bit more interesting than what we saw a moment ago and... Oof. <laughs> it's a huge blessing okay so what I want to do is I want to emphasize uh, the thankfulness of the homeowners as well as the activity of the others so what I'm going to do is click on track 4 here and um, we're going to use some keyframing here okay at the at the beginning it will be the small um, we'll set the keyframes for position and scale of this one picture here and then we'll go in not too far maybe let's see should we do one second let's do a second and uh, eight frames and then I'm going to at that moment in time enlarge it and now I have so it will blow up so I click on OK I'll do the same thing for the husband and we'll double click on it and uh, We'll set the keyframes for position and scale to start with. We'll go over about uh, 108 and we'll enlarge him as well. OK and click on OK. And now what we have is we, we start out with all the energy of all four squares filled. We'll move the scrubber over here and it starts out with four squares of busy people doing all kinds of great work. Oof. <laughs> it's a huge blessing to have a dozen guys. And then after she talks for a few seconds, <laughs> it goes back to all four. And then it resumes. Overwhelming. Just completely overwhelming. With his testimony, his thank thanks to the guys for showing up on a hot day. So that's a very easy way to use a quad uh, design in order to make a big difference. I'm going to append a uh, clip at the end which shows you the finished product. Oof. <laughs> it's a huge blessing to have a dozen guys on our roof. And not in the bathroom. And not <laughs> falling through my roof either, currently. <laughs> Overwhelming, just completely overwhelming how, how the Lord has provided uh, just the amount of, of uh, love from our community and this many guys showing up and being willing to climb up on a roof on a June day is just overwhelming. <laughs>